Okay, so last time we talked about the datum feature symbol, and one thing at the beginning I mentioned was that you don't use it if you have something called datum targets. Now, what is a datum target? Well, <laughs> a datum target symbol identifies a datum target. <laughs> That's so easy. It makes it so simple. Um, sorry. Terrible sense of humor. But what it's going for is this. You don't necessarily ha always have perfect box parts. I mean, if you did, life would be very, very boring. No, your parts are going to have different shapes to it. It might be a crazily, you know, cast part. And if you're trying to figure out datum in this case, like, well, what part of this surface am I going to use as a datum? I'm not going to just say, well, this bottom surface or just this top surface. No, what I would likely do is use a datum target where I say, okay, you're going to have to support it right here, right there, and right here, because those are the only two flat surfaces on that side. And I would have to show them, well, how do you want it to support it? Well, you would use one of these symbols, either a circle or a square or a rectangle, to say, I want it supported on an area. Or you use this little X right here to say, I want you to support it on just a single point, which, so it doesn't sound so crazy, that's simply a dome. A dome would touch something at a single point, if it's a perfect dome. So that's where these datum targets are coming from, why we're needing to use them, because we can't always have a nice, perfectly flat surface to use as our datum, or perfect access to develop our datums. And so in these cases, we're going to have to use these symbols. Okay. Now, then we have to look at our datum target symbol. It's a circle with a line through it. At the top, you will possibly have another symbol which says what the shape is which might be, okay, well, it's a square, one point, maybe it's a one inch wide square, or maybe it's a circle, so it'd be the diameter symbol. If you don't give anything, it's either going to be a point or an area, and if it's an area, you better show your dimensions. Better show your dimensions for that little area. This crosshatch thing right here will actually exist in your drawing. Below that, you will have first the datum letter, whatever you're gonna call it, it could be everything except for I, O, and Q, and then followed by a number. Because you might, you're most likely going to have multiple datum targets that are going to help establish a datum. So you might have A1, and the next one's A2, and the next one's A3, so forth, so on. Okay, and here's a little bit of a, a zoomed in view. Like I was saying before, if it's a circle, you're going to need to show the diameter symbol in there. It's a square, you can show the square symbol if you want to, or you can actually add the dimensions. So the square symbol is much simpler. And if it's a rectangle, make sure that you are showing the dimensions of your datum target. Okay, now what we didn't actually talk about before this was that you can also have lines. Lines are shown using a phantom line, not a center line, because that can be misconstrued by a phantom line. Is showing us that this is not a real thing on my part. My part doesn't contain a line right there. No, there's just that this is something where you're going to touch it and hold it. And where this is only identifying a part of the feature as a datum feature, like it's not the entire surface, it's a particular point where I put those X's, lines, or areas. We do this because it can help lower our tooling and product cost. At least we're going to try to. Okay, so you do this when it's going to make things a lot simpler than it would be to have to make some incredibly complex, you know, backup to match your very squiggly surface. Here's my part that I have to test, and I made this gauge that will hold it in place perfectly. That's terrifying. Nobody wants to do that, and so don't make them do that. Okay, so that's it for this time. Um, we'll be seeing data targets a little bit more as we go through this these lectures, but I hope this helps you. Remember, you gotta make sure you're showing your datums in one way or another. Most of the time this class we're gonna do the datum feature symbol, but sometimes I'll make you do datum targets. So don't forget this. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.